It's 2021 and the COVID-19 vaccine rollout is well underway. Hi, I'm Aisha Langford here again to talk about the newest vaccine to hit the market, the Johnson & Johnson viral vector vaccine. In our last video, we talked about mRNA vaccines, what they were, how they worked, and whether or not they were safe. With the release of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, you may have a whole new set of questions like, how is this one different? Is it as good as the other two? And which one should I get? So let's get right into it. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is similar to Pfizer and Moderna vaccines in that it's teaching the body to defend itself against the spike protein. In the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, the spike protein DNA is delivered through the hollowed out shell of an adenovirus, which is a family of viruses associated with the common cold. This adenovirus has been modified, so it cannot replicate or cause illness. Its only function is to deliver the spike DNA to our cells. Once this information is delivered, our body generates an immune response similar to other vaccine platforms. You may be wondering, why an adenovirus? Well, the adenovirus has been well studied by scientists. Adenovirus vector vaccines have been around since the 1970s. And since then, a number of human clinical trials have been conducted against different infectious diseases, including Zika, flu, Ebola, and malaria. Now, I'm sure you've been hearing that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is only 66% effective against preventing COVID-19. So you might be wondering if it's as good as the other two. The short answer is yes, and here's why. Although there are some differences in vaccine effectiveness, the big picture is that all three vaccines were 100% effective at preventing hospitalization and death from COVID-19. From a scientific perspective, this is still a home run that should make us all hopeful. And finally, to answer the question, which one should I get? The answer is whichever one is offered to you. As I mentioned, all three vaccines were 100% effective against hospitalization and death from COVID-19. And there's no risk of getting the disease from any of these vaccines. The more people who get vaccinated, the faster our population will develop immunity. We're finally beginning to see a wider rollout of vaccines and more vaccine availability. So when you can, get your shot. Check your city or state's health department website for eligibility, appointment availability, and updated guidelines for mask wearing. If you have any questions, you can visit these resources. Thank you and stay safe.